Okay, this is the remote for the theater. It sits behind the chairs, uh, the last row of the chairs on the charging cradle. When you wanna turn on the theater projector and the system, you wanna point this at the projector, which is in the back of the room and a firm press screen. When you do that, there should you'll see a little red light in the corner of the projector housing box when I press that will light up. It takes a minute, you'll hear it start to cycle um, and you'll see some light coming out of the aperture. The main thing about the theater is you gotta give it a little time because it is not a TV. It takes a little bit for the lamp to warm up and for things to start happening. So main thing is don't press too many buttons while it's happening. On this remote, you'll see there's two different inputs. Uh, there is the Apple TV and Dish. So two different options depending on what you wanna do. Um, we're gonna go press the Dish option, which is on the, this side, and that will switch us over to the Dish uh, satellite. And with that, um, <clears throat> I usually use this other remote, which is the dish remote, easier to use. You can use this remote. This remote will always control the volume on Apple and dish, but for navigation around different screens, I prefer using the actual remote for that, for that input. So here we're going to go ahead and just get to the normal screen that you'd see on the Dish. And again, it takes a minute. It's a macro. Things take time. Um, and you'll see that this will start to come into focus. And as the room, as the projector heats up, the color gets better and better. So we're almost there. Um, so again, now when I, I just press that, you'll notice on this remote that um, those inputs are gone. So there's no, where's the Apple TV? Well, you just press this main button and then it will give you your option again. So now we're going to press Apple TV. We want to switch systems. And then again, while we're waiting, we have in the back of the room, uh, please, you'll find this other remote for your Apple TV, your normal, um, you know, Apple navigation. So again, you're going to use this for your navigation, this for your sound. So that should um, give us our normal menus that we're used to seeing. Netflix, if someone hasn't signed out, uh, sometimes people forget you can sign out and sign back in under your own user. There's YouTube TV, Disney Plus, all the things you normally would want. All right. If you have any questions, please text us, call us, and we can walk you through it. Thank you.